Well, I'm always fascinated by the young talent that exists in South Africa. Noni Huaka, known as Miss Cosmo, is one of them. And she's quickly made her mark on the continent, continent, yes, and gained respect in the hip hop community at large. Her knowledge of and interest in music makes Ms. Cosmo the ideal choice when looking for a quality mix or DJing skills. She brings these mad skills to stir up on 5FM every Sunday from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. And uh, we've just had a chat now. Yes. Uh, Ms. Cosmo. Hello. Noni, pleasure to have you with us here. Yeah? Thank you for having me. I always me. look forward to talking to stars like yourself. Oh, you I'm not a star. A You're the star. <laughs> a lot to learn from you guys, you see. So, I mean, I was... I'm actually surprised. You've just got a, a new slot. Yes. Four to Four seven. To seven uh, every day, Monday to Friday, uh, on the Roger Good Show, which is a drive show on Five FM. Yeah, and yes. that's a big deal issue. Yes. You know, it should be. That's the one that we should punt <laughs> because that means you have arrived now. Yeah. I suppose. Well, no, Does it feel like really. that? Not really. I think um, I'm still. Uh, finding my feet, I'm still adjusting myself to the show. Yeah. I mean, I'm a con contributor on the show, so I'm, I'm reading the traffic, I'm, in I'm, I'm interacting with Roger every single yes. day, I'm adding some value to the show. Sure. I still have my Sunday show as well, which obviously is then the hip hop factor and of, that, of and everything. That's where you really yes. showcase your talents, yes, right? Yes, definitely. Now, what I'll, I find interesting is that you've studied investment. Yes, I studied finance and finance. investments, yes, yes. Uh, at UJ. Uh -huh. I graduated in 2009, and I even worked at a bank for four years. Oh, really? Yes, I was a commercial property finance consultant. Okay, all right, and let's forget about hip-hop and talk serious stuff. <laughs> oh, okay, do you want money? <laughs> I can't help you anymore. <laughs> I've lost all of that. You know how the old school people think, yes. like, right? That how could you leave a job, yes. a secure, proper, normal yes. work, like a well-brought-up child should, yes. and go and play around? with hip hop with hip hop uh it's it, it, it was a passion thing i think if if anything you know sometimes people can wake up every single day and they can be stuck in traffic for an hour go to a job do the job go home start again have supper sleep wake up and the and next that's, day and it's that's the, same the story routine. of your life and yeah. people are miserable in yes. that in some of those, those spaces some people it works for them because yeah. that's what they enjoy yeah. i enjoyed finance i won't i won't i won't take that experience away from it it's just i wanted something more so my passion has always been in music even when i was a child yes. my mom and my dad can attest to the fact that i was always dancing in front of the tv uh -huh. i was always performing in front of people yes. so for me i didn't know what i wanted to do in music but i knew i wanted to do something in entertainment so i only found my my appeal in music, I guess, a little bit later. So my leaving the bank was just a, a case of wanting more for myself and wanting to feel fulfilled every day I woke up. And would you say that it's been a fulfilling experience yes. since that you do not regret anything? No, I don't regret anything at all. I mean, if anything, what I learned while working in the bank and obviously having my degree is how to treat myself as a business. Yes. So I take myself for, um, a lot more seriously. Um, I know how to negotiate for me to get better deals when I'm actually out there to, to actually DJ. I mean, I registered a company. I'm doing a lot more stuff with my brand. So if anything, that's what it did t teach me. But yes. So I'm able to at least take those skills and, and instill them in what I am doing, which is my passion for music every single day. So now, when you were in the bank, yes. and I suppose even at Varsity, still yes. studying, this whole DJing thing was going on. Were you, no, no, were you the person that threw the most parties and made the loudest noise I on actually, campus? Funny enough, no. I, I used to throw an annual party. Okay. So it wasn't all the time, but I, for my birthday every single year, I would, throw, I would host a house party. And, and I'm sure my dad is just over me because those parties used to become a mess every single time. Um, but yeah, I used to host um, my annual birthday party and I used to make mixtapes as well. Uh -huh. So, cause you know, sometimes you buy a CD and you only like maybe say four or five yeah. songs yeah. from the CD. Yeah. So I'd make like compilations with different types of music. And I'd take those CDs with me to a braai. Uh, bri party, whatever the occasion may be. Mm -hmm. And my friends just loved my music and my selection each time. So that's when a friend of mine suggested, hey, maybe you should actually get into this DJing thing. I took my time with it a bit, but I started taking the lessons when I actually started at the bank, because then I had money to afford sure. to pay for it okay. <laughs> and to take the lessons. You know, it's one of those things that you wouldn't think that can be taught. Yes. But you took lessons in yes, it. Yes, yes. So well, I had a lot of DJ friends, that's the thing. So yes. at the time I was like, ah oh, man, I can ask some of my friends, they can help me yes. with this. None of them had time for me. Yes. <laughs> so I had to investigate a little bit and then I found a school that was teaching young girls how to DJ. And that's when I then took the plunge, booked some lessons and here I am today. So 
I mean, tell me about your industry then, yes. from a banker point of view. Ooh, All right, okay, wow. before we talk about the money. <laughs> the actual, <laughs> because obviously, as we are talking now, I can mm. imagine the dreams of so many young people, not yes. only in the line of uh, work that you are in now, the career yeah. you've chosen, but somebody's always tr waiting for someone to ignite something, to light the spark in their yes. life. So this is what you do. Don't mm -hmm. think there's anything abnormal yes. with you when you feel like being a DJ and yeah. being a young girl. There's absolutely nothing wrong with going after your dreams. I think if you know what you want and if you figure that out, then it's that much easier for you to actually go for it and for, for you to actually put in the work to get there. Um, I mean, there's plenty of people who are making um, a lot of money, if that's the concern, out of whatever their passions are. I yeah. mean, you've got people who are photographers um, who are making a lot of money. You've got people who are actresses. You've got mm. musicians. You've got uh, presenters. And it's just a case of you understanding yourself. Presenters and how... make money. Yes, they do make money. I need to get, I need to get a negotiator <laughs> with the finance. That's why I'm here. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to change your, your dinner for you. But I mean, people like that can actually make a career out of it. And it's, it's just a case of you understanding where you can fit your brand in and how you can sell that to make more money. So the whole DJing thing has brought you to where you are and uh, you're having a fantastic time on radio. I'm having an amazing time. I love radio. I love communicating. I love people. And because I love understanding people and working with people, it makes it that much more easier. Because I can sit and listen to a hip-hop song, I can break it down and say, this is what this artist was going through. This is how the song came sure. together, A, B, C, D. So the little things like that, I pay a lot of attention to. So it just makes it easier for me to actually express myself as well. Tell me about the Miss Cosmo story. Yes. And then tell me where Miss Cosmo is headed. Um, well, I did mention to you, I mean, my Miss Cosmo story basically started after I had uh, taken uh, the lessons. The, the name. Oh, the, the name. The name. Ooh. Well, now I'm explaining other things. <laughs> you don't want to. <laughs> I can, I can. No, man, well, basically, at the time when I did start DJing, I mean, I was still at the bank, like I mentioned. So yeah. I wanted to have an alias yes. because I didn't really want to be DJ Noni. Yes. It was a little... Number one, it was boring. Yeah. Number two, I didn't want the two personas to clash. Yes. So I had to come up with maybe, say, a DJ name for that sake. Um, and then I was just toying around with a couple of names with a friend of mine. And then we went for a couple of cocktails, one Cosmopolitan, two Cosmopolitan <laughs> later. And then you were... And then, woo! It then, was like, here's Cosmopolitan. The but then it made sense for me at the end of the day because I thought about it. I was like, OK, I could be Ms. Cosmo because, I mean, I'm a Cosmopolitan girl. Sure. I live, a, I live in a Cosmopolitan the, where's city. Where's the career going now? Um, geez, definitely into bigger, broader um, spaces. Obviously, the radio show I've just started now, so I'm working on um, getting better at radio, um, radio presenting. Um, I definitely want to get into um, TV at some space, but right now I'm working on music. So I have actually this morning I was I was um, in the studio working on on my single. So hopefully that will be out in the next couple of months. Um, so music is definitely going to be my first direction, and then we'll see where that where the way that takes us as well. All right. Now you say you say it's uh, coming out. It's not being dropped now anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, is the vocabulary changed? Oh. Well, it's the same well, it's thing, the same coming thing, out, right? dropping, well, it's the same <laughs> <laughs> It's just for neck, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Miss Cosmo, everything of the best to you, and thanks very Thank much you. for being our guest. Thank we so appreciate uh, having you here on the program. I and my regards to your folks, by I the way, this. all right? You know the story. <laughs> so my regards to your folks. I'll do this. Thank you very much. This is how we come to the end of uh, the show, and we hope you enjoyed it, and join us again next time.